morning everybody um what a difference a day makes i put some footage up from from yesterday when i drove into glen k and um it's just unbelievable the change so this morning it's just like snow and more snow and um, so the plan is obviously to go up to the uh the buccal but i'm going to see what the weather's like if it if it doesn't really change and i'll head back so i'm gonna have a little walk up to the start of it uh, the weather forecast is for it to uh, get better today from about 12 o'clock onwards so uh, i brought all my kit with me my winter gear is in the back so i've got everything that i need for today um so yeah let's see see how the day pans out and um hopefully about to get some really good pictures as well but wow how amazing absolutely truly stunning love coming to scotland absolutely brilliant Okay, I'll uh, update you in a little bit when I get to, once I get a bit further up this route. Okay, so now I'm about to reach the footpath that's split, so you can either go obviously over to the left, which will take you to uh, Curve Ridge, but obviously I'm going to go up this way, the normal path up to the summit. The weather's still not great, so. Hopefully it does clear later to try and get some pictures. You can see that, um, but there's a couple of uh, stags over there. I've just um, just captured a couple of pictures of them. Um, see what they come out like. Amazing to see them them in the snow. Absolutely unbelievable. On. That was absolutely amazing. That was amazing seeing them. Right, okay, current situation. I'll pick the path back up, which is cool. I'm going to follow it up here. No views yet. No views yet, Darren. Just debating whether or not to put me uh, crampons on as well. It's still not quite full ice. But I don't think it's going to be long. I think another couple of more hundred metres, and this path is going to turn into a piece of ice where I will need my crampons. Right, I think um, this looks a good spot to get my crampons on. Um, so what we've had last night is obviously snow this morning and last night and it's on top of the glass already. Um, so I'm going to I think pull over to the side here and, uh, and put me and put me crampons on. I think that time has arrived. The ground's starting to steepen up as well. So I'll try and put my crampons on before I really need them. So I've got them on ready. Um, I'll just show you my current you and route so this footpath now is going to by the looks of it contour at the side there i'm going to start gaining a lot of uh, a lot of height quite quickly so it's going to be steep and um, you can just sort of see the top there um which is looking really cool actually so i'm on a, a little bit of flat ground here which is always handy when you're getting your crampons on so i'm going to park myself here have five minutes have some water as well, I think, which is really important to keep myself fueled up and uh, yeah, get some crampons on. Come on in, Darren, let's get motivated. He's definitely starting to get a lot deeper. Lost the path anyway. 
how amazing some uh, deep snow now. I feel the temperature starting to drop as well as we're starting to gain a lot more elevation. not even uh, a breath of wind at the minute because I'm obviously in this gully but um, depth of the snow is pretty alarming it's pretty deep so I'm I'm on a little bit of a path here um, so I'm obviously trying to get up at the top here which is going to steepen up massively in the minute The, uh, the depth of the snow <clears throat> in places here is, is probably a couple of feet now. I've just gone through a little bit there. How amazing. How amazing. So that is my destination by going round and up to the summit. We shouldn't be too far now. Right, okay, this next bit, I'm going to try and get across as quickly as possible. There's been a little bit of a avalanche debris there. A little bit over here as well. That's a perfect gully size for an avalanche. So I'm going to, uh, I was going to go up it, but I'm going to traverse around today and keep away from this just in case any more snow comes down. The, uh, the mist is starting to lift and it stopped snowing a little bit. All right, let's get this bit done. Well, that has been tough. I'm not quite there yet. Oh, so I'm just heading for that gully on the side there, that looks like probably my best approach to top out. But the snow's been mega deep. <coughs> it's been a struggle getting up there, I'm just taking me time. Oh, but I'm nearly there. One last push. I've just uh, made my way up that, that was brutal. Pretty steep. Could have done with another axe to be fair. So keeping away from that gully there. I'm just gonna uh, stay on these rocks and then hopefully top out I'm about 50 meters from the summit of, of this bit anyway. And obviously the summit of the buckles over there. Wow. Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was unbelievable. That was tough. A bit more than what I uh, anticipated. This should be some more flatter ground, which it is. Oh. That's better. Wow. That was tough. Come on. Superb. Right, so I need a halfway point. I need to get off here now. And the visibility's not great. Right, due to the weather, I'm going to uh, take a bearing. And obviously, the summit is, is half a kilometre over there. So I'm going to leave going to the summit. I can wait for another day. And, um, I'm going to get off this mountain now. So I'm going to take a bearing. So where I am at the minute, 
basically where, where I've taken a bearing from. Where it says 902, I'm basically gonna go along the top here and I've got probably just under two kilometers before I come off and drop down onto the footpath. Okay, plans to uh, put some warm kit on. I'm gonna have a quick sandwich. I've just dropped down out of a little bit of wind. There's not much. Um, I'm still walking on, on my bearing. I'm um, just following this sort of small ridge line, really, which should take me to my path. It's gonna take me off. I'm just conscious of the time as well. So it's just gone half past 12. Um, it's got about three hours of daylight. So I've probably got about a kilometer to go and then I can start descending um, and working my way down. Right, I'm gonna get a well-earned sandwich now. I think I deserve it after uh, coming up that gully. The depth of this snow now is just unreal. Massive. Okay, I'm going to uh, start descending now. The snow was just like too deep. I was going to knock, knock that peak off up there. I'll, I'll put the name up um, on the video, I can't remember it. But it's just so deep and time's ticking on. It's, uh, let's see what we've got now. It's gone one, I think, to be honest with you. So, yeah, so it's just gone, it's just gone past one. So I want to give myself a good three hours to get back. So I'm just going to take it steady. I'll just look at the contours there. So I'm going to, take it nice and steady down here and uh, start losing some height and uh, but the depth of the snow up there was just unreal um, I couldn't see the point of carrying on really to try and find my way through it so uh, I'm going to save me energy and um, use it for the descent now which I think is a wise choice and just take it nice and steady coming down here I don't know if you can uh, quite see that on the on the GoPro there, but there's loads of debris where there's been little uh, mini avalanches. So I'm just picking my way away from any little potential gullies or avalanche areas because um, this is in the sweet spot, really, the degree of this here. So I'm trying to obviously keep out the way, but um, yeah, there's been there's quite a lot of avalanche debris down here. So I'm just going to push to the left a little bit. There's some more boulders. Um, it doesn't look as bad. And there's much avalanche debris over there, so massive care is needed. I've got my uh, trusty scarpers on, if you can see them. My right foot is just starting to get a little bit cold. I, I did, did mention in some of the other videos that I do, do get cold feet, so um, maybe next time I'll put the bigger scarpers on. But I do like wearing these boots, though. They're really, really good. They're dry. I haven't had any, uh, any moisture or water come in, um, so they've been pretty good. But what a, what an epic day. Hasn't fully cleared. You can see the valley, obviously we route back down there and across that ground down there and then there's a footpath. I'm gonna pick that footpath up. I've just had to make um, a little takeoff pad for me uh, drone because it's so steep on here. So I've just cut out some of the snow. Right, let's get this up. I knew um, at some point I'll face water, so I've got um, a little bit of a river crossing on my hands. I'm just going to um, 
blast through it to be honest with you I'm not far from the car now anyway and these boots are pretty pretty good give the boots a clean off anyway it's got a bit deeper here Now then, do I cut that out with the camera or do I leave that in? A really little fall at the end there. I think it's time to get these uh, crampons off anyway. Sort my stuff, have a quick swig of water, and then I'm uh, nearly back at the car then. So that is what I've just come down anyway. Basically, up there, down there. So it was the right, uh, right line looking at the contours, otherwise I'd have to have gone right over top of that and then back down again and the snow as you as you say in the video the snow was just uh unreal it really was oh. so just in case come across any more stags of um i've got my uh camera out <coughs> clipped on there i've had some water bite to eat and i'm uh, probably about half an hour from the car so i'm going to uh wrap this video up it's been um an amazing trip actually it was really tough um going up that gully at the end there it was really really hard and i'm pleased i made the decision to obviously uh come down really come down off the mountain um because time was getting on obviously i'm by myself so but yeah thanks for thanks for watching everyone and um, until my next adventure i'll catch you soon Thank you.